ideal conditions on this first leg, and the first stage threw up a few surprises. Quickest by 10 seconds was the works Renault of Jean Ragnotti, just ahead of the leading Lancia of Attilio Bettica, then Bruno Sebi in third place with a brand new Evolution Peugeot, followed by Vatten and yet another Maxi 5 Turbo, that of Didier Oriol. First through, though, was number one, Marco Allen, who was to go up to third place overall after three stages. With the demise of four of the leading Group B entries in the very first stage, the Tour de Course in 1985 was certain to prove to be extremely difficult. The special stages on the Tour de Course can be very long. In fact, the shortest is just under 16 kilometers, the longest over 83. The car and driver combination most likely to upsurge the rally leader Jean Ragnotti was in many people's eyes Ari Vatner. He wasn't to disappoint and was to lie in second place after the first few stages, but some 30 seconds behind this man, the rally leader Ragnotti. The Maxi 5 Turbo had been entered for two European Rally Championship qualifiers, the Carig and Alpine Berra. On both, it had proved quick but incredibly fragile. It had retired from both of those events whilst leading. Would it last here on Corsica? But then tragedy struck on stage four. Attilio Bettica, who had been lying in fourth place overall, shot off the road on a very fast stretch, careering out of sight and into a tree. The force of the impact killing him instantaneously. The 32-year-old Italian will be sadly missed.